Hello, Earthlings. Oh, I'm sure about LeBron from LeBron here. Today, we're going to get to the three things that you should be practicing daily to take your boxing to the next level. It's going to be a 15 minute long workout, two minutes on, 30 seconds of rest, six rounds. I want you to have fun in the process, and if you need some more to get some more, but other than that, let's begin. First round, let's get started. You want to make sure that body is loose, limber, and ready to go. And to make sure it's ready to go, we're gonna get into that box stance. Your bread and butter, the most important. You're gonna keep those elbows in, dominant hand in the rear, non-dominant hand in the front. You're gonna tuck that chin, make your body a small target. Make sure your right foot is right outside that left foot. Knees bent and stay light on those toes. When you're gliding across the floor, the ring, whatever you may be, you wanna to try to stay as light on your toes as possible because the name of the game is footwork. Everything derives from footwork. With good footwork, it's gonna take you very far in boxing. I know it looks funny seeing my hands down as we're going through this drill, but the whole purpose of it is to make sure only your hips go into play. Because if your hips properly go into effect, that means you will be able to slip correctly, you'll be able to pivot out the weight correctly, roll, bob correctly, and maximize that power when you're punching off a counter or just overall. So really focus on engaging those hips when you're going from the left to the right or from the right to the left. Have fun with it, that's what makes it a lot easier too.
All right, when you're going through the six punches of boxing, you want to be as relaxed as possible. You want to untense your shoulders, make sure those knees are bent, you're staying light on those toes. And from what we were doing previously, you're engaging those hips into the punches. So you're not really focusing on power right now. You're focusing on technique and fluidity because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Because if you have good fluidity, it's going to be a lot easier for you to move around your opponent and just have more fun when you're going through the punches. So when you're doing the punches, keep them up, but you don't have to keep them so high up. The whole purpose is to just be loose, act as if your body is a whip when they are coming out and have fun in the process. Round four, halfway through, almost there. Right now, we're gonna be bouncing around north, south, east, west. When you're going forward, you're springing off that back foot. When you're going back, you're springing off that front foot. When you're going to the left, you're springing off the right foot. And when you're going to the right, you're springing off the left foot. Try to be as fluid and as relaxed as possible as you're staying on those toes. I know it can be a little tiring or taxing on your body, especially if you're new to this, but if you have fun while you're doing it, it makes it a whole lot easier. Keep those hands up, keep that chin tucked.
All right, we're not having the hands down no more. We're not looking crazy. We're going to bring those hands up, getting ready to block the left or the right side, depending on whatever the opponent may throw to you. And you're going to counter back with that right side, but not throwing a punch. You're acting in your head as if you're throwing a punch. So your hip is going to rotate on that left side. And then same for the right side. They try to hit you on the right. You brace and you're blocking that right side and then coming back with something from the right side in your head. But that means just rotating your hips. And you're gonna play off the sides so you could block left, throw right, could block right, throw left, or block left, throw left, or block right and throw right. But you're all imagining this in your head so you can get those hips engaged and making sure that technique is down, making it easier for you when you actually do throw those punches. Remember, the number one rule in boxing is to protect yourself at all times. All right, right now, from everything that you learned, you're putting it all together because that is super important. You're focusing on technique, not necessarily power still. So when you're throwing that jab, you're slipping left, slipping right. You're making sure to break that center line and you're always moving your head, getting ready for the opponent to counter you off something that you are throwing. So you always wanna be ready for anything to come your way. You're doing a jab cross. You roll or you slip left, slip right, or step back. You do a jab cross, left hook, roll. Jab cross, left hook, step back, or jab cross, left hook, slip left, slip right. Whichever one of you're choosing, but when you're throwing a punch, you always wanna make sure you break that center line or move your head. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And if you want to catch more videos like this one, check out this video right here. But other than that, peace and love, everyone.